Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to After Work with Dennis. Tonight we're playing Slay the Spire. It's a card game. It's a good card game. Um, you've probably heard of it already. I'm way too late to play this game. Um, actually I've been busy playing in the game so I had no time to actually... Well I did have time. Okay let's cut the, let's cut the bullshit. I had time to play. I had time to record. I didn't. I was busy playing the game. Uh, it's a card game. Uh, you, It's like a, a dungeon crawling roguelike but with cards so it's stone hearth I mean I'm, I'm hearthstone but better uh, there are a few different modes like the daily climb where you have the daily challenges and stuff uh, I didn't unlock the custom mode yet um, you get to choose one of three characters uh, you got the iron boy you got the sneaky boy and you got the defect um, so it's basically like a melee champ tank bruiser type uh, you got the uh, 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 poison sneaky dude, and then you got the the, the wizard basically. Uh, each of them start with a unique relic. Uh, relics do different things. They, in, in his case, at the end of combat he heals six HP. This guy draws at each uh, at the start of each combat two additional cards, and the defect starts with lightning. Um, I don't know which one to take, to be honest. Um, the more progress you make, uh, the more ascension levels you unlock, which basically makes the game harder. Like, level 4 makes the bosses deadlier, the elites are deadlier in level 3, the normal enemies are deadlier in 2, elites spawn more often than 1. Um, I shouldn't talk too much. Um, since I'm too late, you've probably seen, if you have seen any gameplay, you've probably seen the ironclad, you've probably seen the silent, you may have not seen the defect, so let's go with the defect. Let's go with the wizard. Hello again. So basically you climbed the spire. I thought the spire is an enemy, but as you might have noticed, there was a spire. You have to climb the spire. I completely missed the whole point of the game. I thought there would be a, a boss at the end of the spire, or the spire would be an end boss, but no. Anyway, once you complete uh, or, or defeat the first boss, um, there are up to three. Uh, you can restart the game and then you can choose one of a few things. Like you can choose a card, choose, choose to get 100 gold or you lose all of your gold and get a rare card. Um, I like to play it safe so we could just get 100 gold depending on where the next shop is. So you, you, you're go I'm going to uh, pick one of these starting points here and then climb it up. I can pick my path. The enemies will be random. There might be some things on the question marks. Like there might be a shop, there might be an enemy or there might be an event or something. Uh, at rest sites you can either sleep and regain some health or you can um, improve your cards. You start off with 10. You have a few basic damage cards, a few basic block cards and two unique cards to each class. So let's get the gold and just get started. Um, let's see. So you want to get as many rest sites as possible, right? So you can improve as many cards as you can. One, two, three. So we can get up to three. Right? We want to get as many events as possible. One, two. We could do an elite here. Three. We could go to a shop here. Or we go this way. There's another shop. I think this is the way. All right. So you get to see the enemy intent. Th so these two guys are going to attack for six. If I attack them, they're going to defend with three. So, but the defense is only going up if they if I attack them with. Let, let's call those physical attacks or basic attacks. Like my spells aren't really considered physical damage. If you can call them physical damage, I, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, you do not trigger these passives. So we could evoke our, our, our orb, which is which are these things, which are these magic slots, basically. Um, if I don't do anything and finish my turn, uh, the, it will deal 3 damage every turn for each lightning orb, right? But if I use dual cast, which will evoke my next orb 2 times, I will deal 8 damage 2 times to random enemy. Right? So let's do that. So he died, that's good. He will attack for 6, I could block for 5, he will deal 1 damage, right? 
And we can break his shield. And deal 6 damage. Alright. And now we can channel another lightning. Or, you know what, we can actually just finish around. So we get. Uh, after each fight you get to get some gold and then you can choose a card. You don't always have to take cards. You can just skip them. Um, at the start I just picked whatever was best from each fight. But that might not be smart. I don't think any of these cards are any good so we're gonna skip. Alright, there's an event. Uh, we could remove a card from our deck. We're gonna lose 7 HP though. That's alright. The defect doesn't wanna do many uh, basic abilities. We wanna do basic strikes. We wanna get as many uh, orbs as we can and use and utilize them. All right, golden idol. This one will give us 25% more gold. We could take 18 damage, lose six max HP, or get injured. Hmm. Hmm. We could we, we could remove this for 75 gold at the next job. But I'd just rather take the damage. Should we do it? If I do this, I will face an elite. If I go this way, I will face an elite nevertheless. Okay, I will in uh, at any time, I will at any path. Jesus, what's wrong with my English today? I'm so sorry. Um, either way, I'm gonna face an elite, right? So let's just go to the next job. Doesn't... Okay, so you can, at a shop, you can either remove a card, you can pick a few regular cards or rare cards, you can pick colorless cards, you can buy relics, which give you additional powers, right? And you can buy potions. Let's see, what does the mirror do? Upon pickup, obtain an additional copy of a card in your deck. Huh. 193. Hmm. We don't really have a powerful card, which I would like to have twice. Maybe zap, but nah, not worth 200 gold. Uh, more obstacles are good, so let's take that. Leap is a solid basic defense. Um, and we want to remove a card. Let's remove another strike. Alright. Let's go this way. Amazing. We can remove a card, transform a card, or upgrade a card. I think we're gonna upgrade our capacitor. I think that's a, well, actually... I'm not gonna fill those slots fast enough, to be honest. Not yet. So, we should make Zap a zero cost card. That should give us more options. And then, we could... Stronger defense, more orbs, is it time? I guess that's the best choice, in overall. There's our first elite. Uh, this guy's gonna sleep for two turns, three turns. So we want to wait, channel as many lightnings as we can, use all the passive stuff, wait one more turn, and now we have to start the turn. Amazing. So we have three lightnings. Now we woke them up. Nine damage each turn for free. Or 16 right now. That's alright, let's defend. No zap. We wanna defend though. We don't wanna lose too much HP. Alright. Cast. Attack. By the way, I'm pressing E to end the turn so it's faster. In case you're wondering. Alright, let's block. Let's block as much as we can. He's gonna die eventually, so. He's dead now. Yes. Alright. Auricalcum. If you end your turn with a block, gain 6 block. That's an okay relic. One of the better ones, so it's okay. Um, but our deck is really small, so we could get a claw. A claw is a 3 damage card, which doesn't cost anything, and it gets stronger by 2 each time you play it. Now we can cycle through because we have a small deck. We could. Do we want to do that? Let's do that. Let's have a small deck. Then let's go to the shop, right? So we can remove another card. Or pick up, pick up a good one if there is one. Fission is, fission is not too bad, but... Oh shit, a hundred. Oh no. 
Oh no! I forgot. I didn't have enough money. Shit. Hmm. Alright, I fucked up, I guess. Shit. Only smooth stone. One dexterity. So if, if our block cards uh, would have blocked five, they will block six instead. Oh, come on. Okay, now I can. Well, runic capacitor would have been great. But then again, we don't have any money. A peace pipe makes you move uh, cards at rest sites. A singing bowl, if you skip cards, you get to gain two max HP instead. Alright, let's remove another strike. This is interesting. Uh, do we want to eat two damage? I. Oh, no we don't. Oh, we have oddly smooth stone. So two defense cards were enough. You usually need three. Hmm. Alright, claw. Dual cast. One leap is enough. Another strike. Perfect. Zap. Attack. He's not quite dead. Alright, that's that's pretty alright. Let's see. We have a small deck. Stack is good if you have a big deck. But we're probably not gonna do that, so let's skip. Hmm. Zap. Attack. But in case you're into this game, there's a guy called Jeremiah on Twitch. I really like him a lot. He does some quality streams. And you get to learn a lot too, so... Most, most of my knowledge comes uh, from watching him, so... If you want to learn more about this game, I would recommend that stream. He seems to be a cool guy. Now, what do we do here? We want to keep the deck small. And I intend to fill those slots with... Frost. Because Frost gives you passive block, right? Mm. Is this the right card to gain Frost? I don't think so. I think Beam says very... Well, Chill, there we go. I really... I was focused on these two cards, but I completely forgot Chill. It's a zero cost card, which will exhaust, which means you can only use it once, then it's gone. Innate makes it... Uh, you play it on the first turn. I think that's a good choice. Did I just go through... Did I just take the wrong path? I did. God dang it. Well, I still get to upgrade a card. Uh, do we want to make dual cast a free card? Or do we want to upgrade chill? I think the chance of getting chill is pretty high. Since you draw 5 per turn, right? So let's make dual cast free. Alright, that's pretty good. So we can zap, dual cast, use chill. I should have used chill first. What am I doing? God dang it. That was bad. That was a bad play. That was pretty bad. So the frost itself only gives two blocks. So you want to uh, find cards like... Um, What's it called? Defrag or a focus potion, which gives you two focus, which would make this stronger by two, right? Uh, with recycle, we could reduce our deck size. Hmm, nah, I'm good. Alright, do we want to rest or are we strong enough to get this guy? We don't really have any damage. I don't think so. I don't really think so, but we have a fear potion, explosive potion. Do you want to risk it? Mm. We could. We could do that. Do you want to really upgrade a claw? Yeah, I guess I do. Heck. This is probably a bad decision. Let's see. Alright, let's use the focus part. Let's use the vulnerable. Let's use the vulnerable. Okay. Oh, we proc him already. Okay, all good. No sweat. No sweat at all. Capacitor, chill. We wanna block. 
Yeah, he eats 3 damage, but that's fine. So I'm gonna dual cast. Do our leap, defend. Attack once more. Yeah, so vulnerable makes him take 50% more damage. So that's good for us. Uh, is this enough? 12, 16. He deals 20 damage. I think we can eat 4. That's fine. We can take 4 damage. Alright. Are we gonna do 21 damage? I doubt it. Well, actually, we, we, we are going to. It's gonna do 10. Uh, we could pop him with the explosive potion. Or are we gonna survive? 10, 14, 20, 26. We would eat 10 damage. I don't think it's necessary. Alright then. Zap. Defend. Defend. I guess we can attack and take one damage. Yeah, every time I attack him, he deals three damage back. That's his passive when he's in this form. So. Alright. Oh, I forgot I still had an energy left. That, that was a bad play. That was a misplay. Not intentionally. damage. Not bad. Alright. He's almost done. He, he's basically done. Yeah, he's done. Alright. GG. Ah, oh, what do we want? Core search gives art an artifact, which negates the next debuff. Multicasts? Evokes your next orb X times. X means however, how much Depending on your energy, right? If you have three energy, then it evokes it three times. Fission. Evoke all of your orbs, get an orb slot for each orb evoked. Eh. Very situational. I think cost surge is good in case we get cards like... Ah, uh, what's it called? Oh, I forgot the name. It basically gives you more focus, but you lose one or two focus each turn. I'm not quite sure. And you could negate that with that card. And after your boss fight, you get a boss relic. With Ori, Ori, you choose and add five cards to your deck. With Snekwa, you dot draw two additional cards each turn, but you do start each combat confused, which randomizes your card costs. And you get Cursed Key. You get an energy each turn, but every non-boss chest obtains a curse. That's fine with me, honestly. We need more energy. Ideally, we get a relic like Unseizing Top now. So we have unlimited draw. Because when I'm out of cards, I have to end my turn, right? But there's a relic which makes you redraw one card as, as long as you have an empty hand. Alright, let's see. One, one, one. Let's see. Two, three. One, two, three. Right? We have 200 gold. Do we want to go to a shop immediately? I, I, usually, I usually like to go for late shops. One. Two. One. Two. Hmm. One. Two. Three. I guess this is the one. This is the latest shop. Alright, that's fine with me. So, dual cast. Car search. Actually, we can use all of our cards now that we have enough energy. Now, this artifact is gonna negate his next debuff, so that's good. Not that it's a very strong debuff, but it's very annoying. It makes you draw these weird cards that you cannot use. Oh, this is gonna suck a little. Or quite a bit, honestly. 10 damage? Eh, I guess it's fine. Whatever. Zap, a claw. Let's evoke for more defense. Oh, this hurts. God dang it, 22 HP for a regular enemy. That's too much. At least he's dead now. 
Go for the eyes. A player is weak. Hmm. So it's a pretty good card. We could get this. We should get this. I know I want to keep my deck small, but still. We need some debuff cards. Capacitor, boss, up. Core surge. Be good. Let's defend. And again, do cast. Like this one is gonna. Well, he is starting with three artifacts, right? So I'm not gonna apply any weak. And at the beginning, I thought each artifact blocks one stack, right? But so I thought two weak is gonna remove two artifacts, right? But it's one debuff, one type of debuff. So it's just gonna remove one artifact. But it's free, so I have to play it. Whatever. Not many options here for me. I'm just gonna either take a shit ton of damage. Alright. Eat shit. Ah. Uh, still not enough. This is depressing. And you take so much damage. Actually, I don't take any damage there. It's all good. Okay. Blizzard is good if you stack Frost, which we are planning on doing so, but another Clarker is pretty good. This guy is a piece of shit. I hate that guy. Let's weaken him. Let's chill. Let's defend. Force search. Capacitor. Yeah, not many options left. Again, once again. Just gonna take it. Yeah, amazing. No defense card this game. This time, I mean. Well, got best Orikakum, I guess. Some block. Block, I guess. Not too shabby. Can we kill him though soon? That would be nice. Alright, perfect. Yeah, we took big hits. Loop is nice. At the start of your turn, use the passive ability of your next orb. Mm, double the lightning, not too bad. Also, it's a power, so you play it and it's gone. And it's done, I mean. So the deck doesn't necessarily get bigger, so we could take that, we should take that actually. Oh, we have only have 24 HP. Is there a rest site nearby? Not really. Uh, I'm not, I, I don't think I'm gonna survive, because this book takes like 15 HP away, I think. And then I wouldn't be able to fight against either of those. Hmm. I have to skip. I'm, uh, that, that, that really sucks. Oh! Orange pellets. Whenever you play a power attack and skill in the same turn, remove all of your debuffs. That would be amazing. But also, we could remove another card. I think we should remove. Dark some parry up. This is pretty good. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max, max HP by 6. All of these ones are rather trashy. This is okay. Do we want... No, I think we're gonna... Remove our last strike. Alright. Alright, be a good boss. Oh shit! Now this guy's a pain in the butt. I don't know if we're gonna survive this actually. Uh... Gonna do 15 damage. Okay. Eh, where's my. Where's my. Go for the eyes. Not here. Eight. I'm gonna survive it, but still. It's a lot of damage. 16, 24, it's gonna deal 20 damage. 
Eh. 25 damage. Okay, we are gonna survive this, so no need to use dual cast. So we keep the frost. Eh. Go for the eyes. Thor. Defend. And we lost. Huh. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Well, sad. We didn't make it. I guess this is a short episode then. That's a low score. That that that, that was a sad run. We got it. We, we got a good run. We had it going, but then I fucked up. I took way too much damage for everything. I think that the, the deck took took too long to build. I think I just made a rookie mistakes by building. By building my future deck, but you should pick whatever is best right now to make sure you actually get the win, right? I got a lot of defensive stats, so maybe I should have gone for a heavy offense. Hmm. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. Anyway, that was Slay the Spire. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I love this game. I think it's like 15 bucks on Steam, so you should get it if you like roguelikes and card playing games and playing card games. Um, it's it's great value, it's amazing. I don't know how many hours I have in this game. 42. There are a lot of things to do. Um, it's a pretty good game. It's a lot of fun. Man, I'm so out of words, if that's a thing, if you if you, if you know what I mean, but say the spire, this is the spire, you slay it, not it, but whatever is inside, and then you get to the top. It's still in early access, so I'm curious whatever the final boss is gonna be, or however they're gonna finish the game. There's an endless mode, which would be here, in custom, but I don't know. I don't know. I would wish for more characters, official characters. There is mod support, so there are custom characters already. Custom relics and cards and stuff. Um, so check it out. And I'll see you next time. Take care.